The ESFJ personality tends to be one of the most frequent personalities. They are very conscientious and cooperative. Remember, because they have feeling in their personality type, they're really going to want a lot of harmony in their area. They are going to need a classroom that has a lack of discord or debate. They're also going to want to know what the expectations are for them. That goes along with their judging as well as their sensing because they're going to be very detail oriented. So as we look at this, let's look at the general personality description of this kind of a learner or this personality. They're warm hearted, conscientious, cooperative, harmonious. They like to work with determination and they're going to establish that harmony. They like to work with others to complete tasks accurately. They're loyal. They like to follow through. They notice the needs in their day to day lives and they're going to provide them. They want to be appreciated for who they are. Some people will even say that they're organized and orderly, but the greatest thing is that they're sociable, outgoing, and they're enthusiastic. They're actually very energetic about being with other people and by being learners. So their learning styles. ESFJs are really interested in learning facts and information that are related to people. They're related to relationships. Harmony again, back to harmony. They need active communication to learn. They are very verbal learners and they learn from verbally working through information. So if you can find a way or a space for them to be able to speak out loud, that's gonna help them. They're hardworking and they're conscientious. They want everybody to be happy. And so for this, they're gonna implement whatever they are learning. They're going to look for ways to use their new knowledge and they want to immediately implement it. They want to seek what is best for everybody. So for the ESFJ also remember to engage all of the senses and emotions because that helps them to integrate and to recall new knowledge. They love to learn in an organized space. They prefer order and sequential instructions. They also have really strong management skills. They like to learn practical information because theory really, really frustrates them. People say that they are really committed to preserving traditions. I like that part about them. They are decisive, thorough, and very consistent. Now in a classroom, they're going to need an environment that is really devoted to the five senses and engaging emotions. So like a Montessori space would be really good for them. A traditional classroom with the teacher as the front or the stage on the stage does not work well for this student. They do like though to learn in structured or unstructured classrooms, so they're flexible. But most important, they need to have hands-on and real life examples. They like to learn independently or can learn independently, but they prefer to learn with other people because they're social, it's part of that extroverted. So when they learn independently, think of it as a funnel and everything that you're pouring in, the energy is just pouring right back out the other side. So if you can give them a social atmosphere to learn in, that's going to contain their energy at the same time that they're containing all of that information. They love cooperation and support, and that's probably the greatest foundation because they don't work well with competitive environments and they really do not do well where there is discord or competition of any kind. They love to understand how others learn as well. I like this part here there where in the uh, in de, um, introduction to type, when they describe this kind of person where they say they're personable, cooperative, tactful. How wonderful. They are warm and sympathetic because they love other people.